Hi, today we are going to make a casual button up shirt. And this is the plan. It has a yoke, a straight cut, which means no darts. And we have cuff on the sleeve. And lastly, I will be adding iron on embroidery patches. So first is the measurement. We will need the neck measurement, bust, hip, shoulder, the hip line, and the length of the shirt. And for sleeve, we will need the sleeve length and the wrist measurement. Let's draft the pattern. First, we are going to draw a straight line about 2 inch away. This is for button extension. Here, I've written all the measurement taken. Then I mark the hip line and then the length of the shirt about 27 inch. After that, I mark a quarter of bust about 8 inch and then uh, we draw a straight line on all the points. Next, mark one sixth of neck, 2.5 inch, and down here we add 3 quarter inch. After that, mark half of shoulder, 7 inch. And to get the shoulder line, we minus 1 inch here. Then, at the bust line, mark a quarter of bust, 8 inch. And then plus 3 quarter inch for ease. We need to find the center of this line. And from the center, go in 3 quarter inch. At the hip line, mark a quarter of hip, 8.5 inch, then plus 3 quarter inch for ease. For the bottom part, you can design whatever shape you like. I just add 1 inch down and then draw a straight line to the point. Yes, we are finished with the front bodies. For back bodies, first we mark 1 6 of neck, 2.5 inch. And then for back bodies, we mark half inch down for the neckline. Then just repeat like front bodies. Here is the difference between back and front bodies. At the bust line, on the front bodies, we add 3 quarter inch and at the back bodies, we just add one quarter inch.
and then at the center of this line we go in only a quarter inch Then just repeat like the front bodice. And we are done with the back bodies. Next, we are going to drop the sleeve pattern. First, we mark the sleeve length, about 21 inch. Then, the formula for the first point is 1 8 of bust plus 1.5 inch and mine is 5.5 inch and then the second point is from the armhole uh, mine is about 7 inch Then find the center of this line. Again, find the center of both lines. At the top here, we go up 3 quarter inch. And at the bottom, we go in half inch. For a back sleeve pattern, just draw free hand this way. Lastly, mark half of wrist. And then we can connect the points. To cut the sleeve, first you cut the back sleeve and then you cut the front sleeve. And of course, remember to check the sleeve and armhole and trim if needed. Because we are going to make a cuff at the bottom of the sleeve, mark about 2 inch from the bottom and cut it up. Now we are going to make the yoke on the front bodies. Mark about 2 inch at the armhole and the neckline and at the back bodies, mark about 
4 inch down. Then you can tape down the front and back pieces together. Next, we move to the collar. First, I measure my front and back neckline. We are going to make a two-piece collar. It has two parts, collar stand and collar fall. First, we are going to draw the collar stand. Draw a straight line and then mark the back neckline measurement and the front. Back is about 3 inch and front is about 5 inch. Here we go up about half inch. And the height of the collar stand is about 1 inch. At the end here, at about half inch. And you can draw the curved shape or just rectangle. For the collar fall, measure the top part of the collar stand. Mark the measurement, then at the end, we go down half inch. Then draw a curve from the center to the point. Then add half inch for the collar shape. On the collar fall, slash at two points. And Add about a quarter inch at each point. Then you can trace the new color fall. And lastly for the pocket, I found this trick from Instagram and let's see whether it works or not. Cut your pocket pattern on a thick paper or a cardboard. Here I just use the Amazon parcel box. I make a 4x4 inch pocket. We will be using these things later. Now we are done with the pattern.
In part 2 video, I will show you how to sort the shirt. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!